Good evening and welcome to Fan TV. This evening the Peterborough Donald Phantoms played host to the Basingstoke Bison in a game that uh, I think is best described in some cases as both a mixture of hard work and extreme frustration. Mm, definitely. It, was, uh, you know, it, 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 it wasn't probably the most entertaining game to watch but it, was, uh, it, had, it had quite a lot in it though. Yeah, absolutely. Well, with that I think you can see for yourself and here, here are some of the highlights of this evening's game. Welcome back. Um, so, the final score this evening: Basingstoke Bison five, Peterborough Donald Phantoms two. Um, I mean, looking at the uh, the highlights there, it's I think frustrating is probably the right word for it. Absolutely. Uh, when you got your kind of Phantoms bashing them away, trying to put them past the goalie, putting every bit of rubber on net that they possibly could, is uh, obviously very frustrating, I think, to, to you know, not put more past uh, any goalie, but particularly, obviously, a guy yeah. like Stevie Lyle, who is a you know, top top quality yeah. contender. Yeah, I mean, the guy seems to be part goalkeeper, part octopus. <laughs> yeah, he, he just seems to have arms everywhere. Hands, yeah. um, I mean, that's something, I mean, we're talking about the kind of work rate. I mean, it was, Phantom's got 50 shots on goal, uh, the Bison got 30. I mean, that says a lot, I think, as well, for the work rate, for the amount the guys are putting in. Absolutely. I think if you looked as well, I think you'd find that they weren't just coming from kind of the same one or two people. They were coming from across the board. Guys like Jordan County was getting shots in. Jamie Lyon obviously had a few shots as well. Mm. Uh, guys from all over. So it was, yeah, yeah. It was nice to see. OK. Well, we'll actually come back to that in a moment. But... Uh, after the game, we got to talk to some of the players, as well as coach John Kiniston. So we'll be back shortly. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, coach uh, John, um, disappointing, uh, no point weekend. Unfortunately, this weekend. How do you? Uh, how? What's, you know, kind of what's your feedback? I should say on that. I don't think we matched up particularly well against um, against their offence. They're very strong offensively. There's too many mistakes in our play over two games to, to come out of any points. We can't give teams like Basis Stoke easy goals. We did that last night and, and two sloppy ones at the start tonight. You know, we can't afford to do that. Mm, we're actually um, wondering, uh, well actually two things. Firstly about um, King obviously last night. Um, was the scoreline sort of any reflection as to why he changed the goal, goalkeeper for the third period? Well, I think at 5-0 Davis had a lot of net time this year. It was good to give him a rest. Um, and, and tonight obviously uh, he was injured so he's got a bit of a neck problem at the moment, so Dan had to go in. I was actually going to ask you about that as well, so it's just a bit of a neck problem. So Yeah, at this stage we're not too sure, but um, we'll get a diagnosis the next day or so and see how he is, but uh, he's got uh, a bit of a neck problem from uh, the collision. Mm. We'll have to see how he, how he recovers. Definitely. Um, 
Now, obviously, as well, would you think there was a, a big problem there with Mr Lyle in the net as well at the other end? Do you find that was obviously something trying to put the pucks past him? He played very well. It's probably the difference for them tonight and in many games this season. Um, he had a lot of rubber on him and he played, he played really well. I said, some, you know, the team in front of him was good. Sometimes you've got to give the opposition some credit. Mm. Offensively, they're very good and they're going to hurt you. And with Stevie Lyle in the net, it's a, it's a good balance of their team. And I think he played very, very well tonight. Definitely. Uh, now, obviously, looking forward as well, Phantom still in the, in the hunt for their first four-point weekend of the season. So, uh, do you think that maybe next weekend with Milton Keynes and Sheffield, do you think that that's a, that's a good possibility? Hey, when we play well, there's no team we can't beat. We've shown that this year. And I think going into Milton Keynes, it's always a bit of a, a gritty game. And we've come out of there with points before, so we're looking to do that again. And obviously, here on Sunday against Sheffield will be, will be a big game. Uh, like you say, there's them breathing down our neck. So, yeah. it's a big weekend next weekend, as we all are going in. You know, to the close of this season, we've got to be up for a battle now. Definitely. What? You said you're not looking over your shoulder, but the truth is Sheffield have cut six points to two, haven't they? Yeah, and, and two weekends ago, we went from two points to six. So, at the end of the day, you know, we need to just continue to win hockey games, particularly at home, and keep that gap if we can. Mm. Like I said, it's, it's one of those situations where you know, we're going to be in for a bit of a battle, and mm. we'll see who, who stands up to be counted over the next few weekends. Are you disappointed not to kick on after the high of the win in Manchester? Oh, obviously, we'd like to have got some points out of this weekend. I think Basingstoke are a team that are really desperate to win that title. So they're always going to come hard. And like I say, I don't think we matched up particularly well with their offence at times this, this weekend. And we could have got something a bit more out of tonight's game, but it wasn't to be. I mean, the, the scorebook will say 10 3 to them over the weekend, but you would say probably 20 minutes aside, you've actually performed okay in it. Yeah. I think, you know, like I said, I was disappointed the way we started tonight's game. It's not what we spoke about. And to give them two soft goals was always going to be difficult. And there was a 10 minute spell last night where too many guys took, took time out. And yeah. uh, that's the difference, really. They're a good team. You can't afford to give any team this league you know, an easy ride for 10 minutes. I mean, taking it forward again to next weekend, a, a big derby, which obviously the script writes itself. But Sheffield here, is that a must win? Right. I think we need points to secure a playoff place. Whether who they come from is, is kind of is not that okay. important. Obviously, taking two points from Sheffield is, is ideal. But uh, we need to look at the next four, five, six weekends and make sure we're picking up points from each of those. If we can do that, then we're going to put ourselves in a good position. I'm sure Sheffield will strengthen this week before Wednesday, and, mm. and they'll push hard, as will all the other teams in the league. A word on Dan Lane. He did very well when he came on tonight. He did very well. Yeah, very steady, and uh, like I said, he's a good netminder. No qualms for the minute now. No? I mean, at this stage, would Dave might be a, a, a doubt for next week? I think at this stage, you have to say he is until we get a diagnosis. Okay. Well, John, John, thanks for speaking to us. Okay. Right, Luke Ferrara, a, uh, an interesting game, but a uh, bit of a, uh, a laser uh, shot as well for me for the uh, for Phantom's second goal, but how do you feel it was over the weekend? Uh, it was a disappointing weekend. I mean, we played three, maybe four good periods two bad ones and we lose both games so we have to learn how to uh, play six consecutive periods over a weekend mm. and we need to start picking up more points because we, def we definitely want to be in the playoffs at the end. Mm. And do you feel as well that the like the maybe that uh, the team's own sort of the sort of problems that they had were as much to do with themselves as it was the opposition like goaltender or Mr Lyle in this case? Uh, maybe I think yeah I think the fact that He's such a good goalie and he's got such a good record, I think sometimes gets in people's heads. And I think that was a problem with us today. But shouldn't have done because last time we were here we, we scored six past him, so we know we can do it. Yeah. But hey, I love, we'll practice hard and see how it goes next weekend. Yeah, and obviously you got three periods out of uh, Dan Lane as well this weekend, so that must be uh, quite good. How does it feel to have him back there instead of instead of Tamo? Oh, he's, well, he's, he played really well. I mean. It's good to know that you've got two good goalies, so if one can't play, the other one's going to step up and be big. And Dan had a really good game, and yeah. he, did, he did well. He did everybody proud as well. Excellent. Are you looking forward to next weekend as well? Because we've got uh, Milton Keynes away and then Sheffield home. Uh, obviously a big weekend as well, particularly with Sheffield um, kind of snapping at our heels a bit at the moment. Yeah, I mean, it's probably our biggest weekend of the year. Milton Keynes is a rival game, so they're always fun to play in, and then... Obviously, Sheffield are two. I think they're two points behind us now. I think they won tonight, mm. so it's going to be a massive game, and it'd be nice to pick up four points. Definitely. Well, is that possible? I mean, is this a monkey on your back about a four-point weekend? 
Um, I don't think so. I think, again, it's just a little bit of inconsistency, like one period off and we don't get four points, whereas we've played five good ones. We should have got all four, but I think we can definitely get it next weekend, or well, hopefully we will. Yeah, I mean, for 45 minutes tonight, we were pretty good, weren't we? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I think for most of the game, we outplayed them. They got some good forwards who put the puck in the net, and obviously their goalie came up big again. But yeah, as you say, you need six six solid periods rather than four good and two poor. Yeah, that's, I think that was our biggest problem this weekend. I mean, what's the mood like in the camp? I mean, Mr. Kiniston keeps coming out and saying you're looking up rather than down, but you must be aware of uh, Sheffield, and obviously they're breathing down your necks again now. Yeah, I mean, obviously right now it's not really happy, but. We're quite a positive team. I mean, we'll come in Tuesday laughing and joking, and we'll get back to work, and I think we'll have a good weekend next weekend. And this weekend just needs to be put behind you, I guess. Yeah, it just know. needs to be forgot about. Yeah. Straight up, yeah. I mean, and the record against Milton Keynes this season, you've been very good, haven't you? So you'd, you'd go there with plenty of confidence. Yeah, I think we got a lot of speed in our forwards, so in their big rink as well, that's our advantage. And obviously the, uh, the Demons against uh, Sheffield from earlier in the season, you sorted them out a few weeks here, so... No reason to think you can't beat them again down here. No, definitely not. I mean, I think well on, pa well, on paper we're a better team, and we definitely are a better team. Yeah. We've just got to forget about the idiots that have, they have on their team and just put the puck in the net, concentrate on our game. Luke, thanks so much for speaking to us. Thank you. Cheers. Oh, man, I love that back. <laughs> Already? Yeah. Okay. So, um, goalkeeper Dan Lane, uh, how does it feel to, uh, to get yourself some, uh, some, some time this weekend? Yeah, it's great. I've really enjoyed the time on the ice. Um, Obviously, Damien was a bit unfortunate last mm. night. He got hung out to dry a bit tonight with the injury. But, yeah, it was nice to get a bit of rest off the skates and get a bit of net time. Definitely. Now, as well, you, might, you seem like you might have had a little bit of a nervous start to, to begin with tonight as well. But oh, yeah. uh, you settled in fairly, fairly yeah, nicely. Yeah, for sure. There's always nerves there. I haven't played in a while. Yeah, once the game got going, I got into it. And so, yeah, and obviously it. against Basingstoke as well. Quite a tough team as well to, to, to stop goals for as well. Oh, how, yeah. how, must have been that, how was that for you? Yeah, well, they're not top of the league for no reason so yeah it's tough coming in against one of the top teams but yeah I really enjoyed it tonight it's good good excellent and um, obviously if uh, Kinger is out uh, potentially next weekend as well looking forward to stepping up and showing what you can do next weekend as well yeah for sure I'm, I'm sure Damon will be fine he's just he's pulled his neck a little bit but yeah I'm always ready I'm always tra um, trying hard in training yeah I'm always ready if Damon's injured or brilliant Okay. Dan, thanks so much for speaking to us. No Probably getting some ice tonight as Cheers. well. No worries, we'll take care. <laughs> okay, rolling. All right. Okay, man of the match, Joseph Slider. Um, Joseph, a um, bit of a frustrating game tonight for you, yeah? Yeah, I think it was for everyone. But, you know, we, we didn't play good enough to beat them, so that's the whole story. We, you know, we, we had our chances, we, we had a couple of weak minutes like last time they scored they're a good team up front they score goals when you made mistakes and we didn't give up we kept going but uh, obviously they have Stevie Lyle on that who is a really good goalie and he proved it once again that it's not going to be an easy game. Okay now although it was a frustrating night for you the work rate was definitely there I think for all of them I mean 50 shots in one evening. Yeah that's that's all you can do you know if it if the puck doesn't go to the net you got to keep working hard if you give up you're most likely going to get scored on more. So that's the that's a good thing about this team that we don't give up. We have we have guys on the team who were not selfish and you know we we stick together. We, we proved a couple times this year where we were down and we tied up games, we won games and didn't win today. So okay. Now there was a bit of a heart stopping moment there earlier when Damo went down after being hit by uh, Mr. Watt. Mm -hmm. But the rest of it, I mean, you had Dan in goal after that. How was that for you, having a different netminder there to look after? Well, there is not much, you know, different. You still want to play the best you can to help any goalie out there. And now, especially Dan, when he was sitting on the bench, we were called. It's a tough, tough thing, you know, to come in in a goal in a, during the game and play a game. So we tried to help him out, but he, he proved that he's a good young goalie with with a talent and good future ahead of him. Proved it last night, he played well. Okay, now looking forward to next weekend instead we've got Milton Keynes away and then Sheffield here at home. Is there anything in particular about next weekend that maybe you'd be looking forward to? <laughs> well, <laughs> fighting. <laughs> <laughs>
No, I mean, obviously we need points. We need we need to beat Sheffield and Milton Keynes. We need those points. We it's a big weekend and whatever happens, if I get to in, you know fight, I get to. If, if not, I don't. <laughs> so, really, to put them on a, a par, giving the choice between a good fight, taking someone down, and putting the puck in the back of the net yourself, which would you prefer? <laughs> Well, obviously the fight, I'm not going <laughs> to lie, but obviously, I don't know, you want to score goals too. Yeah. Kind of 51-49? Yeah. yeah, I guess. Yeah, all right. All anyway, right, congratulations on Man of the Match, and thank thanks you. for coming up tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Cool. Okay, and welcome back. So we heard there from Coach John Kiniston, from the man behind the second, phantom second goal, which seemed to come from a, a completely obscure angle there, yeah, well, Luke yeah. Ferrara. Um, goalkeeper Dan Lane, who really has gotten a couple of very good periods under his belt there, Definitely, yeah. and man of the match, Joseph Sladock. Um, so, listening to the interviews and listening to the way the guys were talking after the game, what would be your take on their mental state at this point? I think that, I think the big thing to consider is that, obviously, they, they've had a couple of sort of Disappointing um, win uh, losses. Sorry, in that uh, over the weekend, obviously against Basingstoke, who are top of the league. I think they can put that into perspective. Um, but as as Luke said, that they're a positive team, and I think mindset-wise, you know, they're going into a weekend now which is very winnable as a four-point weekend, uh, quite a significant one as well, and particularly at this point in the season with Sheffield so close. Mm. Um, but yeah, I think that. All you can really do is take take the games as they come, and you can only beat the team that's in front of you or play the team that's in front of you. So, uh, yeah, they have just kind of kind of move on from what's happened this weekend, and um, hopefully take something positive forward. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, in terms of things that were positive, um, Sladock and Graham had a, had good games at the back. Greg Pick playing fairly well yeah. as well. I mean, so for a guy that's nicely. only been with the team two minutes yeah. effectively, he settled <laughs> yeah. in nicely. Um, the forwards as well. I mean, Luke's goal especially. That was. I don't know how how that went in. I no, really it don't. Was, it it was, did, and I'm not complaining. <laughs> don't get me wrong. Um, yeah, it was but, an impressive one, actually. You know, yeah. it was kind of you can, it, things like that kind of show that sort of uh, you know what potential is there to to mm. really you know to hammer, hammer them goals away. And I think perhaps against a lesser goal tonight, probably could have been several more than it was. Absolutely. Now, obviously, next weekend we have Milton Keynes Lightning away at MK, and then we have uh, Sheffield Steel Dogs here at home. Now, the last time Sheffield came here, they really didn't have a good time. And I remember at the end of it, there were a lot of comments apparently, allegedly attributed to uh, player coach Andre Payet. Yeah. You ever have one of those days where you just get a <laughs> blank moment? Yeah, so some comments allegedly attributed to Steel Dogs player coach Andre Payet that um, having seen the way we treated their players last time, there will be retribution. Yeah, uh, he makes a habit of saying it now, and it's, I'm not saying he won't follow through, but it is kind of one of these things that the guy does like to kind of go on record and say these things. So, yeah, it'll always, I think it'll always be a feisty game, no matter what. Mm. But, uh, yeah, at the end of the day, it's going to be two points. That's what Phantoms are going out there for. So, uh, as, as, as Joseph said, uh, if he's required to fight, then so be it. But at the end, it's really it's the points that Phantoms as a team are, are looking for. Yeah. Well, I think, that, I think that wraps it up nicely for this evening. So, frustrating game tonight. Positive view on the, from the guys themselves. Yeah, not brilliant weekend, but positive to take from it. And I think probably one of the biggest ones... Apart from hopefully um, Damo's neck being a very, very minor thing. But the positive from that was when he needed to, Dan Lane came in and stepped up. Definitely, very well. Very well. Mm, excellent, indeed. Right, well, that's it from us tonight. Yeah. We'll see you during the week um, for our, pre our pre weekend preview. <laughs> a bit, bit daft doing a, a post weekend preview. Post weekend, yeah. yeah really wouldn't make much sense. Yeah. So, <laughs> that's it for us tonight. We'll see you next week. Good night. Good night.